Hi, thanks for watching. Andy here with The Astrology. It's Monday the 21st of May 2018. Let's take a look at what's coming up towards us. It looks like an uneventful day. You could say it's a corridor between yesterday and tomorrow. The moon entered Leo at 10 past midnight actually this morning, so it's not strictly speaking yesterday, although it was in the United States and Canada, sort of for afternoon, early evening thing. The moon entered Leo, uh, but entered a void of course only about about four and a quarter hours later, so it was a really short time uh, in Leo. Theoretically, the moon is in Leo all through today, but it is void in Leo. Um, so essentially, you know, Leo is about getting out there, being noticed. Um, and that that's, seems like such a shallow thing, but it's really not. When we have plans, when we do things, we actually need to engage others with us. We need to have an effect on the rest of the world in order to really make the most of those plans. And so when the moon enters Leo, that can happen in a very positive way. Basically, it's it would have been a really good time to appear on stage if the moon hadn't gone void in Leo. <laughs> but that is, it's a long, long void. The moon actually doesn't enter Virgo until it's something like a 22 and a half hour void. The moon enters Virgo tomorrow morning at 3.02 a.m. at 7.02 p.m. Pacific tonight um, and 10.02 p.m. tonight Eastern, but 3.02 a.m. here tomorrow morning in the UK. And attention to detail goes up. Uh, people are a lot more fault finding. It's a little bit OCD might be the uh, the expression to use actually people just are looking for little mistakes they want everything clean neat and tidy you don't want to give in too much to a thing like that it can just get out of control but it really is good to put things in order and have things tidy so don't just say well I'm not an OCD person and dismiss that but that is not until tonight anyway in the States and not even until tomorrow UK time and the early hours of uh, tomorrow morning UK time are busy because uh, 3.02 moon enters Virgo and then at 4.49am UK time 11 minutes to 5am we reach half moon, uh, the time when the moon is actually 50% full and she's rising at the moment. Let's see where we are now, actually, because I forgot about that bit. 40% full now, so another 10% to go. But the moon does move very much more quickly in mid-phase than she does at either end of it. And so the real big news today is no news at all. It's that void in Leo thing. Leadership isn't all that effective. Um, anything you're doing that involves raising things is possibly going to not exactly run into difficulties, but it's likely not to get you very far today. Um, we say the best thing to do during a void, of course, is as little as possible, or at least nothing that attracts new action. It is good for consolidation and making sure things are right, actually, uh, that attention to detail thing. It's not a bad time for that. It really isn't. But it's not all kind of plain and simple getting on with fixing things. Uh, there is a lot of inspiration around now as Mercury is sextile Neptune. Uh, means that where people get together and talk, you get imaginative, inspired conversations. Uh, you can actually talk your way towards closure if you can talk to someone that you've got an issue going on with. Uh, planning for the future, it's a great time for that too. Also, right now, as I speak, the sun in Gemini is semi-sextile Uranus. Now, the sun has everything to do with leadership and other things, but it's about leadership. This perhaps is why we uh, look to the sun sign uh, rather than the moon sign when we're working out somebody's star sign. I never really know why that is, you know. I don't know if anybody does. It's just kind of the way it's gone. But we do notice that the moon is more involved with the intuitive side of things. And the moon sign someone has seems to play a bigger role in what they do. But the sun sign is about the leadership. Now, the sun semi-sextile, Uranus at this very moment. Uranus, the ruling planet of Aquarius, it's about forward-lookingness, originality. It's not unlike the uh, the North Node or the True Node, actually, when we get involved with Uranus. Semi-sextile, what does that mean? Well, that's a 30-degree aspect, and that is very much a building block, like all the minor aspects are, a building block of where, you know, where, where, um, where things in your normal star sign, as it were, the, the things you're more used to are going to take you. And as the sun semi-sextiles Uranus, you're going to need a chance to let your hair down, uh, try and be a bit less reserved than usual. 
if you can allow yourself to do that, you can be very innovative. You'd be surprised where you can end up. You might surprise other people as well. It's the kind of thing where you suddenly get something out of the box and make it real that you've been planning for a while. So that is no bad thing. Okay, spaceweather.com. Solar wind speed is fairly gentle at 345.1. That is actually down a bit because 400 kilometers a second is normal. The density of the protons, 1.1. In fact, that's, that's right down, isn't it? We may have some geomagnetic unrest. They're not calling it a storm. They're just saying unrest on May the 23rd. That's two days from now, Wednesday, May the 23rd, because uh, there's then going to be a stream of solar wind grazing the Earth's magnetic field. It's not going to cause big storms or anything. It's certainly going to affect uh, the lights in the sky. So if you're in part of the world where you can see auroras, Get out there and look for them around the 23rd because it's going to happen. Other than that, it's nice and calm. There's still solar wind coming out of the sun's coronal hole, but we need not worry about that. Okay, friends, thanks very much for watching. I'm sorry I wasn't here at the weekend. It was my daughter's 18th birthday party, and uh, you know what 18th birthday parties can be like. <laughs> and because this is going out around the world, I'll tell you, when you turn 18 in the United Kingdom, you're allowed to drink. It's old enough to drink. So, you know, a certain amount of drink got drunk, basically, and that was fun. But there we go. Normal service is resumed. There won't be an 18th. Next year, it'll be a 19th, and it should be a lot more sedate, and I should be on and doing stuff. Meanwhile, at least I made it today. I'm really glad you made it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. But thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. We'll talk about it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.